Hello and welcome to our channel. I'm Tia, it's so nice to meet you. Today we are talking about Canva and specifically Canva can be an amazing tool for photographers and creatives alike to develop marketing materials, to be able to organize your business, all kinds of things. But one thing that can often not be intuitional is how to tidy up items, how to get items evenly spaced in Canva. So today I'm gonna to take you inside my computer screen, show you a quick tutorial to make sure that you know how to easily tidy up items in just one click. Let's jump this in. It's really easy once I show you where it's at, but this is really going to change the game for you in putting together really professional looking graphics. So say I'm creating this little search bar and I have all of my items like this, but I want them to be evenly spaced. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to space these vertically, so I'm going to, talking about all these texts, this five text, and it's going to space them evenly between the top and the bottom. So I need to put the top one where I want it and it's gonna be centered with that search bar and you can see all of those lines that pop up so that it can lock into place. And then this one is already where we want. It. So let's say that this is actually like this. I'm going to hold down shift and press shift, shift, oops, shift, 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 shift to get all of those items. And then I'm gonna go up to position here and I can tidy up and I can space evenly. So I'm going to space evenly vertically like this. Tidy up just does the both of them. So it's going to do horizontally and vertically, but I'm going to go vertically so that, boom, look, it's done, easy peasy. Now, something else that could happen here is I have this like this and like this. I'm going to again go shift and I'm going to select all five of these and I can go position and I can center all of them. So it's going to bring them back in the middle of everything. I can also group these, so now all five of those things move together as one item, and let's say that for, not for this graphic, but for some reason I want to position this right in the center, I can put it like that in the middle, or I could put it at the top, making it so, so handy to move around large groupings of items. Now I'm gonna go back because I wanna show you one more thing where they're not grouped, so now they're ungrouped. Um, if I would have had them grouped, let me just show you this, so I have them grouped, and now I move them somewhere and I'm like, okay, but now I wanna ungroup them because I just wanna move two of them. I can literally just go ungroup. Okay, so now say I have this one over here and you can see how these are all left justified, right? Brand, 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 and then this one isn't. I can select even just two of these items. I don't need all the rest of them. And then in here in the position, I'm going to align the elements all to the left. So it's gonna go to the element that is farthest to the left Boom, done. And I can do that to the top, to the bottom, to the right, which is really handy when trying to organize elements. The final thing that you find in position is moving things forward or backward. And you can see all the shortcuts right here, which makes it really handy. I can also show you shortcuts there. So see how there's two things now? So this can go forward, backward, to the front, to the back. So what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna just bring some elements out here. We're going to do just this square, and I'm gonna bring it right here, and then we're gonna do another square, and this square is going to be blue, just so that we can keep track of it, and I'm gonna layer this almost on top of it. I'm gonna bring brand and identity on top of it, and I'm going to bring the search bar, and you can see I can't see the search bar right now. So position, I go to front, boom. The search bar is in front of everything now. You can see it's moving in front of brand identity, in front of the blue, and in front of the pink. The pink is in the back right now, right? So there's a few different things I can do with this. I can bring the pink forward, which is going to bring it in front of the third canvas, the third layer, which is the blue, boom. I can also have a jump to front. So we know that the search bar is in the front right now. If I were to just go forward, it's only going in front of the brand identity, right? So now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna show you jumping all the way to front, boom, now it's all hidden. So those are really handy for positioning things and being able to layer things on top of each other. And that is everything of how to group, tidy up, and position in Canva, making everything easy with just one click. I hope you guys so enjoyed that tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. We have tons of Canva tutorials, so I'd love for you to hang around. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe for all future videos. And until next time, bye.